you said that she was committed to change on your tweets. And I just wondered where you got that mm. from her answer. Well, currently, the way that the bill is formulated, it has this concept of legal mm -hmm. but harmful. It has this concept that some things that might be legal in the offline world might be made illegal in some circumstances in the online world. Now, it was interesting to see that Liz Truss, in her answer to that question, sort of divided the issue in two, said she supported the uh, protections in the bill for people under the age of 18. And everybody does. That's, and, that's, and, that's, and that's non -controversial. a fairly that's a fairly non-controversial non -controversial view. I think there are some elements of the bill that some people might raise an eyebrow at, um, particularly um, ar around what over 16s are allowed to access. I think that might be a bit of more of a grey area. But clearly, Liz Truss had her position there. Under 18s should face all those same mm -hmm. protections. She then said that adults who are free to make up their own minds, make up their own decisions, should have the same rights online as they do offline. And she said that she would make sure that the bill reflects that. That, to me, sounds like a commitment to change okay, the so bill. It, it, OK, and this is what I think is very interesting about her campaign, because adequately protects uh, free speech, and it reflects that, is what Nadine Doris who is her supporter and the Secretary of State, mm. says it already does, mm. which means there is no commitment there to change whatsoever. So what I'm wondering is, is Liz's campaign wonderful in letting people read into her answers mm. what they want to? Potentially. What she did say, though, to the questioner was the words, I absolutely agree with you. She reflected those concerns specifically about adults, and she said that she would make sure the bill does that. I think that a lot of people would feel desperately let down in a Liz Truss administration if the bill went through with no changes whatsoever. It was sort of... It's, it's sitting in suspended animation at the moment in so one of its last Commons... So changes pro need to be done? Because you were quite clear that she's committed to change mm. the online safety bill. So what changes, therefore, need to be done? To me, what Liz Truss said last night to GB News was that that provision of legal but harmful, that idea that some things that, in her words, are legal in the offline world but might be made illegal in the online world in some situations under the auspices of this bill, she, to me, last night, committed to change that. And I think a lot of people would feel like it would be a bit of a U-turn from her were she to row back on that apparent commitment. Well, we will see if that is the case, because, as I said, the person who is her big champion, Nanid Norris, already says that is happening in the bill. Obviously, Toby Young doesn't. Mm. You've had him on often enough, and you Certainly. always go on there. Um, but, and this is where I wonder if Liz, who's definitely now the front-runner, if her campaign has been strategically much better than Rishi Sunak's. I think, to some extent, there have been areas where Liz Truss has been more constructively ambiguous. For example, Liz Truss has said that she wants to see the Green Belt protected. That doesn't mean that she has committed to zero change to the Green Belt, as I think most reasonable people would say, if there's a bit of concrete in the Green Belt, that might be reasonable to construct upon. Uh, whereas on that issue, Rishi Sunak has said the Green Belt must be frozen in aspect, no changes at all, even in some areas where councils might want to preserve a green field here and do some, uh, some bits of the Green Belt that aren't green. That, uh, that is one of the more complicated areas where Liz Truss has put forward a policy direction but not stipulated an absolute legislative rule in the same way that Rishi Sunak has. And perhaps that leaves her a bit more flexibility for governance. Uh, and perhaps there are some areas where the Liz Truss campaign has been able to do that. And let's not forget with the um, announcements uh, this week of, of those who are backing Liz Truss, it really does span the party. It's quite a broad coalition. I think to some extent a campaign needs to keep that broad tent of people involved if it wants to be successful. And, of course, the Conservative Party, famously a party of many different uh, sections of society, wings, you've got One Nationers, you've got Thatcherites, you've got everything in between. Um, in order to be a successful political party, and the Conservative Party is the oldest, most successful political party in the history of the world, it's done that by maintaining a... a its broad church appeal. So to some extent, that constructive ambiguity, I think, will forever be with the party.